I feel like such a sneakerhead now. Like, look at me, my Air Maxes. Girl, you was just wearing just so so last week. Talking about some Air Maxes. It's your girl, Miss Jamima, and we are back at it again with another video. Okay, uh, so today we are going to be doing a sneaker haul because I have been super into sneakers lately. Listen, listen, Linda. Okay, I tried to be uh, a bad bitch, I tried. Um, the heels are cute for a dinner situation, for a sit down situation, but for the stand up ation it's a no for me um so i went out and bought some sneakers okay i bought some sneakers and um you know i'm like i need to figure out do i style it to still be like cute and sexy or androgynous you know whatever look i'm going for so i can still pull off the sneakers but still get the vibe okay still serve darling okay so depending on how this video does maybe i'll do a lookbook or something okay but anyways yeah so i bought most of my sneakers from dtlr um i got some from dsw i had one from dsw um i still have my eye on like two more um but i was like listen i'm cutting it off i'm tapping it out um until i really wear these so i can make sure like okay if you're gonna be spending your money on sneakers you better be wearing them for real this better not be a face okay because they expensive okay these are not flats from boohoo for 15 dollars, honey these are real like sneakers and you know i gravitate towards the sale items <laughs> but still even the sale items are expensive damn so i do want to show you guys what i got and I'm gonna show you how they look on my feet, of course. Y'all know I always hold y'all down. It, my shoe hauls are always real ghetto. But they get to the point, okay? You you see what you need to see, don't you? Period. Um, so let's get started. All right, so first things first. Um, okay, so actually I wanna start with what I've been wearing the most. Um, so let me, is this it? Child, she has name brand. Who is she? Who is she, y'all? Cause let me tell y'all, my cheap uh sneaker game is real. Okay. My Joe Sosos, just so so's been keeping me on and popping. But yes, honey. Listen, look at my Harashis, y'all. I you know what? When I first went to DTLR, I went to buy my high top chucks for a weightlifting, right? I saw these then and I fell in love with them then. But I was a sneaker girl then okay you know besides like the chucks uh maybe a slip-on situation from walmart but i was a sneaker girl so i was like these are real cute real fire but who's finna spend all that money for shoes i'm not gonna wear girl i've been wearing them i have been wearing them i love these so much i was like dang my little red sneakers from rainbow ain't never hit like this <laughs> never ever 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 she never ever okay so i was like first things first these shoes right here oh worth the coin absolutely worth the coin um so i got all my shoes in the us nine i thought a men's nine was equivalent to women's 11 but apparently it's it's equivalent to a 10 and a half um so these shoes are a little cute little tight which is weird because Sometimes I be like, am I 10 and a half or am I 11? I don't know what I am. But for these shoes in particular, it's, it's literally really, really tight on my right foot. My right foot is bigger than my left foot. Child, y'all ever notice that the right side of your body is always different from the left side? Like they're in a competition or something? Like one titty hangs lower, one smile is more crooked, one eye is higher. Like what in the Picasso is going on? Was it Picasso that had like the disheveled faces? Like that's how my body is. Child, mm, it's so popping though, period. And you gonna like it. 
Uh, let me stop acting up. But yeah, I absolutely love these shoes. Out of everything I've purchased, these are the most worn. And that's saying a lot because I generally like easy shoes. I love mules. I love like the slip on sneakers. I just like to throw my feet in and go. So for me to sit down repeatedly and take the time to force my foot into this, lace that thing up, make it tight, tie it. That's how you know, fire. Like even if I go out right now, I would wear these shoes. With this outfit, I would wear these shoes. Like they're so like, let me, y'all, they're just so, they're everything. Look it, look it everything oh my god it's the all red for me i feel like if it had like white and other colors in it i wouldn't be as in love with it as i am now but like the all red like the stature of it is just it's literally sexy sexy but y'all know i gotta show y'all the, the little ghetto shoe haul oh oh okay it just hit different bruh cut stop playing y'all my legs are hairy mind your business stop playing with me tell me these are not the sexiest sneaker you've ever seen are you mad like can i get this in an all black would i even like it in an all black i never thought i'd be the one for like a fire red sneaker but ooh, it's a yes for me but yeah so that's le shoe Damn, I really, something told me to shave my legs and I didn't. And here I am filming a shoe haul with my legs off the camera. But you know what? It don't even matter. It don't. Um, so the next shoe I'm going to show you, I got these from DSW and these are Reeboks. Once again, slip ons, slip ons. <laughs> um, and so I like these because they were plain um with the white platform so it gives me a little height um cloth so my feet real easy in it okay no struggles no nothing very soft very comfortable um but yeah so i like them because they are plain which means i can dress them up a little bit more um and do more with them okay and let the outfit be the statement so let me show you oh also and their memory foam that's the real reason why i got them because I'm old and I need memory foam and I need cushion and all of that, okay? Because your girl is not making it. Uh -huh. She's not making it. People say you decline after 30. I've been declining since 25, all right? So this is how these look. Real simple, nothing special. But yeah. She gets the job done, darling. Gets the job done. All right. Mm. this haul is very much getting ghetto but yeah okay so these are probably the second most worn pair just because they are so easy and so simple so the next pair is quite similar um and i got these for my dressier outfits i really wanted a leather or leather light sneaker so i haven't actually worn these out yet because i haven't really had the occasion to um, but I would really love an androgynous look. Y'all, it is so hard. If I could find a blazer set, either in shorts or pants, like, ugh, that fits me well the way I want it to fit me, I literally would have to sew my own clothes. Like, it's just, there's no other way around it. Like, Fuego doesn't want to make suits for me. Um, but I just, I just really have the vision of like a sexy suit look with like shoes like this and like either a brassiere or just something really like sexy and feminine to contrast this anyways i haven't met that that outfit in my life though so i'm gonna just show you all the shoe but either way like i said i did want something dressier um so when i need to be comfortable and still i can still do that is called oh my groceries are here yeah so um got these in a nine as well these were from ds dsw yes i got these from dsw y'all let me tell y'all what i love about dsw that little sale clearance section okay um the prices are already discounted plus you get additional oh i love that for me okay 
love. Like, how much should I pay for this? Like $30 or something? Come on, boy. Like, ooh. Like. Look it. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is how I know I'm dedicated. This whole bending over, cutting off my own air circulation to, for, the, for the look. Is it dedication or is it vanity? But this is how it looks. Pretty similar to the first one. But just, you know, just a little something extra. A little bit extra. Yer. Yo. So next we have these Nike Air Maxes, which I also fell in love with when I saw. And I just, they're just, um, I haven't worn these out yet, y'all. As much as I love white shoes, I just be so scared to wear them out. So scared. And while I do love these, I also want another white pair that's a little more, more demure. I don't like that word. I just want a smaller pair because these are pretty chunky, um, which are okay because I'm a big girl, so big shoes don't look all that big on me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do want something just a little bit smaller for the fits that don't require. Did I just put makeup on this? I know you're lying. No! Oh my God. Me, mom, what did you do? What? How's your name? Oh, oh my <laughs> but yes, like I was saying, um, I do want another pair that's a little smaller. Oh, well, I just got makeup on this, so at this point, fudge me in the knockers. Um, luckily, it's on the inside of the tongue, so. It's not a huge deal, but I know it's there. That's going to bother me. Um, but yeah, so I'm just like, beautiful shoe. Be beautiful, but it's so crisp and white. And I'm just like, how long will it stay like that? How do y'all keep your white sneakers clean? No, real question. How do y'all keep it clean? Because y'all know how be for the streets and people step on your feet and you step in puddles and you just outside, just anywhere outside is just not worth worthy of my air maxes i feel like such a sneaker head now like look at me my air maxes girl you was just wearing just so so last week talking about some air maxes but look it it's my baby that's not the baby that's my baby <laughs> that's my baby even with this outfit right here fire Tell me this is not, oh, with this fit right here, this is screaming rich auntie but comfortable, okay? The red in this outfit was giving like cool auntie and comfortable. I feel like this is giving rich auntie. Like the white, the pristine white, is it, it screams wealth and prosperity, okay? And new sneakers every other week because how are y'all doing it? I'm scared to wear this outside. Like, I would wear this to go out today, but I, I'm scared. How are y'all keeping y'all sneakers white? Isn't she a beaut? Is she? Is she a beaut? <laughs> All right, let me try it on and show y'all. My lips, my lips, my foundation. Oh my God, it's so nice. Look it. Oh, oh, you could never. You could never, I could never. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow. Oh my God, look it. Oh my God, it's so nice. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and you're going back in the box where nobody will ever see you where you would never see the light of day period stay here you're for decoration only period um but i wanted to say the best for last because i also knew that i had to get these and these are fila sneakers um and i've, I've noticed a pattern with my sneaker buying um i like to be noticed apparently um i like for people to see the shoes that i've invested in i want you to see um the creation that somebody spent their time and efforts making 
Look at the artwork that is on my feet. Celebrate the artwork that is on my feet. And um, that's exactly what this is. And it may not be everybody's cup of tea, nah. I understand that, nah. But for me, baby, I said, hello, come to mama. Come to mama. Come to mama. What in the hitchhiking uh, hiker sneaker is this? I don't know, but I love it. Like literally, I could stab somebody with these. Like, I could probably really do some damage. Um, but I love these. Like, look it. When I tell y'all I didn't even try these on, this is gonna be my first time. I literally just said that, give it to me in a nine. I'm on my way out, thank you. Just add, add that. Put it in a bag, just put it in a bag, thank you. Um, but like, like I, 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 like I, I, what? What? Do you not see why I would love this? Um, first things first, I love bright colors. I like vibrant colors. Um, and it's a nice change from my typical black. Um, really all these sneakers, I could wear this outfit. Like, let's really talk about that. Um, this was my purse. Y'all know my purse. I wish really to pull it out, but I'm tired of y'all roasting me now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a break for this video and pull it out in another video. But look it, look it. Stop playing with me. Stop. Let me give y'all some deep. <laughs> Let me show y'all some detail, baby. Let me show you the detail, baby. Get into it. Like, wow. It's the color for me, honestly. If it wasn't for the color, I actually don't know if I would die for the style. It's the color for me. It's always going to be the color for me. And I'm noticing I love these solid colored sneakers. Even though this does have like gray details in it. Is this gray or like glow in the dark? I think it's just gray. But honestly, you don't even notice it unless I put it like in your face like this. But it's honestly the color for me. It's just quite vivid quite vibrant definitely a um a statement piece like you could wear a plain all black outfit a black uh crop tank or something and black shorts and these sneakers fire gloss a little bit of jewelry you don't even need the jewelry the sneakers are a moment on their own i promise you these are great for the days where you want to be simple and comfortable but you still want to have an impact you still want to let everybody know like yeah there's a bad bitch here. What's up? What about it? What about it? I'm here. I've arrived. Address me as such. A bad bitch has arrived. Oh! <sighs> but y'all, like I said, I haven't even tried this on yet. What if it doesn't even fit? Okay, moment of truth, y'all. Moment of truth. Do I even still have the receipt? I'm bugging for real. Like, girl, this is why I end up getting stuck with the Hirachis. They're a little bit too small. Just, just a little, little. Like, my toe is literally, like, right here. So I can wear them. I just can't wear it, like, for eight hours, which is, like, the defeating purpose of wearing sneakers. Like, sneakers are supposed to be super comfortable. Um, but, yeah, so I'll be wearing it, but then... But you know, I don't know if it's a sneaker or if it's my foot. Because I don't know if I told you guys, but a couple years back, several years back, I broke my right toe, my big toe, and kind of frazzled the second toe as well. So it's not really been right since then. And I feel like she's super sensitive. Like, she be getting her feelings off of nothing. Like, sis, calm down. Um, so I don't know if that foot is just more sensitive to any kind of shoe rubbing or if the shoe's too small. I don't know, but anyways, let's try this one. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Oh, but yeah, this is definitely a chunky sneaker vibe. So if you're not into it, oh, but honey, look at that color on my skin. Oh, wowzers. Like, the more contrast against this shoe, the better. 
I'm finna go tear my legs out on the balcony and just kind of lay out just for these shoes. Cause honey, oh, I just want to do them justice, darling. Oh, look it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice, y'all. But yeah, this one's kind of like the red one. It's like my toes, like right on the tip of the tip of these sneakers, though. Um, but I'm not going up a size, so let's talk about that. Like, like I said, these are already a chunky shoe. I know I said I'm a big girl, so big shoes don't look as big, but that only goes so much. <laughs> so I'm gonna just I'm gonna stick by them. It's my shoe and I'm gonna stay by. Uh, it's mine. You see these shoes, you see me. You see me, you see these shoes. Okay, period, I'm gonna stay by. Um, but yeah, oh my God. Oh, yes. Ooh, I'm not gonna hold you y'all. I'm so happy with my sneaker purchases. Um, besides the white one, which may never see um, life outside the house. Um, I cannot wait to rock these. So let me know if y'all would like to see a sneaker lookbook. But y'all be fake though. Y'all don't really like lookbooks. And it's upsetting me and my homegirl because if I can't do a lookbook on my channel, where else can I do a lookbook? How do a lookbook on a fashion channel don't do well? On a fashion channel? No, y'all want hauls. Y'all want me to spend money. Okay, 24 seven, spend money. Y'all don't even want to see how to wear the clothes. Y'all just want to see me spend money. Y'all want to see me broke. It's very anti-black and it's very anti-womanhood. I'm seeing the agenda now. I see what it is. It's the scamation for me. Okay. But yeah, so if you guys have any uh, comfortable um, and sexy shoe recommendations, please let me know. Sneaker recommendations. Um, at this point, I might be willing to add maybe two more to my collection. One of them being a slightly smaller white sneaker, like maybe like one of those like Reebok ones, probably nothing more than like $30, $40. Um, so I feel like, now I'm not gonna feel as bad when they get like dirty and stuff. But yeah, so I've been space for like one more like fire sneaker. Um, I feel like I should probably get something that's like black or like a mixed tone. So I do wanna wear something I can wear out, out um that i don't mind people like dropping drinks on and stepping on my feet because any of these if you step on my foot if you drop a drink on my foot you're getting popped in your neck okay i'm karate chopping you right in the tonsils right in the adam's apple because y'all not finna play me like this with these expensive sneakers that i just spent my rent money on y'all not finna play me okay period um and on that note, um, I'm gonna walk away because my tone just got really violent and I don't like that for me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I forgot to say I had to subscribe in the beginning. I'm slipping. I really am slipping. Um, because why you not subscribe? <laughs> why you not subscribe, sis? It's, it's, it's the crack, ain't it? I know it is. It's okay. Watch another video and then decide if you wanna subscribe. I know this one's a little janky, so watch another one. Go ahead and watch another one. I'm gonna leave links for you. Don't worry about it. I'm just let it happen for you, seamless. Just go with the flow, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>